was the trend taking over social media. TikTok user and recipe developer Justine Snacks blew our minds with the butterboards, which she says she thinks can kind of take over the charcuterie board craze. Social media can't get enough of this trend, and that's why we've got lifestyle guru and hostess with the most, this Abby Turner is here to kind of like educate us on butterboards, and yeah. then you're going to also put your own unique spin on it. That's right. Good to see yeah. you. Thanks Great to be here. here. Yeah, for sure. So when I first saw the butterboards, yeah. I'm all about it. You guys have been around the block with me with charcuterie boards. <laughs> yes, I, love yeah. putting, I love putting stuff straight on boards. Right. Let's take everything off and let's just go for the, I mean, it's all about bringing people oh, yeah. together around yeah. it. So I'm all about it. I think yeah. it's really fun. I think you can do a lot of things with it. So my little take, I love Mediterranean food. So okay. I mm. have... Tomatoes and red onions, radishes. I love crispy chickpeas. Okay. So really getting that crunch in there. I think one of the things that is super important when you're doing a butter board is to make sure you put salt on top of that butter. Yeah. Right? Okay. And then make sure you put some foods on there that have a bite. So that's why you have the red onion. That's why you have the radish in this specific one. And you okay. just put the butter straight yeah. on the so board. So I've got you some boards and some and some knives and a whole thing of butter. I'm going <laughs> to make you a believer this morning, okay. Jason. So y'all yeah, dig in. Okay. All you so, do is scoop some out and put some straight on your board. Yep, I, just I, like that. I feel like and it doesn't have to be super thick. You can see the board through it because you will be topping it with other things. Okay. Abby, I saw on social media people are saying that the butter you use matters. So you really want to use a really great butter. Do you agree? You know what? I I don't. I think okay. that whatever butter Hot you're take. going to put on your bread is good enough for the board. Okay. Um, I also think that room temperature butter is a little bit better than cold butter. It's it you know just spreads, spreads better. It does a little spread bit better. Yeah. You went really ham with that. I mean Here. you I'm all in. I mean went all in on it. I can't wait for you to try that. <laughs> so you can top it with red onions, radishes, tomatoes. Okay. okay. Um, I love topping it with a little bit of parsley. And if you don't want a good garlic salt, the internet says you have to use Maldon salt. Mm -hmm. If you aren't familiar with Maldon salt, that is a very, very... Um, pricey and very nice salt. Uh -huh. um, it's a bougie salt. It is a bougie salt. And the I, internet not going to get me today. Yeah, I like my little Laurie's garlic salt, so I'm just going to sprinkle some of that on yours for you yeah. and yours for you. You can... I mean, you can look at my board over here. I have so much stuff on it. You do. You cannot go wrong with putting more and more and more. I mean, such is what you do with charcuterie, right? <laughs> just Certainly. keep putting it... Yes, putting it I, on. Yeah, Why don't you add some now, what is that green? red bowl over there? That is actually, if you didn't want garlic salt, you could actually make, um, this is a chipotle chili and salt together. <laughs> oh, so it gives it a little that. bit of a spice. So if you wanted to put something spicy on there, I love Damn. chipotle chili powder because it gives that smokiness. Oh, so tasty. Okay, so pretty much what you're saying is the key to the butter board, of course, is really the, the flavor. Because you want to bring out a good flavor in your butter board. Okay, Jason, yes. it's the moment of truth. I gotta get oh, some of this on there yeah. first. Put some, put some crunchy chickpeas on there. Now this is actually a granola mix or a trail mix that I got at the store. Um, if you can't find crunchy chickpeas, sometimes you can find a fine trail Vegetables. Is that what you usually put you on a You know what? Board? I think of a butter board as more of like a deconstructed charcuterie board. So hmm, if you're okay. going to put it on a charcuterie board, mm -hmm. you can put it on your Butterboard. So you could top it with like smoked salmon or lox. You could put oh, okay. papers on there. Oof, this is going to be messy. I cannot wait for you to try this. Jason, yours looks really, you really think. good. So I've also seen people, and of course, you make this mm. however you want. Warm bread as well, like mm -hmm. some freshly toasted bread. Of course, we've yes, got some ba for sure. great bakeries around here. We are going to keep sampling. Abby's going to stick around because later in the show, we're going to do another alliteration yeah. of this that I'm really super excited about because we, we this is like the savory version. Oh. We're going to do a sweet version I, later. I can't just go with what everybody else mm. is doing, right? You got to you twist it up. You got to twist Man. it up. Awesome. I this is wait. so good. We're going to keep snacking on this. Yes.